Hi, I'm Dan. And I'm Ollie, and we're both from Roland UK. Uh, we're here today to show you the quad capture. Um, we really just wanted to go through its main features of what we think would benefit a lot of musicians out there. So we've got two very high quality preamps, out of sense, so plug your instrument in, no matter what it is, bass, guitar, keyboards, click that and you get your levels perfect every time. And you get Solar X1 LE, which is bundled straight from out of the box, so just plug this in to your TPC and you're ready to record. So we've got X1 LE behind us all installed, so let's quickly show you what you can do with this. So let's get this all connected up. Uh, so make sure your drives are installed first, so you've got either OS X or, or Windows before connecting it up. So we've got ours all installed, USB straight in there, all powered, all connected. And at the moment we've got our audio output coming out of digital three and four. So simply connect that there. Obviously depending on your setup, you may be using the left and right there. So we are all ready there to get recording. So we've got our Roland Gaia all plugged in, everything except the audio, so this is where the quad capture comes into it. Uh, we've got our left and our right all plugged in, but what we get is that distortion that every musician dreads. Not a fan of that, so let's just click Auto Sense, and then it's going to monitor our levels while we play, so let's just play some... found our levels so we'll keep that on so we're guaranteed perfect levels every time we're recording so so we've got sonar x1 le all installed here and on track one we've just got a really basic uh, drum loop going and on track two we've got our Gaia going into the quad capture so let's get recording so just click record So let's move into track three, and we've got the guy's older brother, the 101, coming out in mono, straight to the right channel of the quad capture with the auto sense enabled. Make sure your input is set to the right channel right there and enable record. So now it's time for the bass track. I'm running my bass straight into the Roland Cube 60 XL bass amp which is running from the direct out straight into the second channel of the quad capture. Uh, my auto sense is all set up ready, so I've got the perfect level to record straight into Sonar X1 LE. <laughs> really just scratch the surface of the recording only four tracks of audio within Sonar we've used Ollie record his bass through the Cube 60 XL, the SH101, the SH01 Gaia and some really really basic drum loops so if you think about it if you were to put a bit more time and effort in you could get a really really nice fully produced track in a package that's really really affordable so if you want any more information just go on to roland.co.uk or visit your, your nearest dealer thanks for watching